I think it's clear that not many films have impacted us as my Shinless List, with its rich characters, the beautiful music, the outstanding acting and so much more. It's clear that Steven Spielberg had us all crying our eyes out. So I thought I would honor its legacy and talk about a thing I have wondered about since I first saw the film, and that being the red coated girl and what she represents. But before we begin, if you haven't seen the film, then I would highly recommend you go watch it. Just be aware that the film can get very intense, but I think being blind to what truly happened is not something we should do. But nevertheless, let's begin. If you haven't watched the film for a while, let me give you a short recap. The film is taking place in World War II in Germany, where we meet Oskar Schindler, a wealthy businessman who came to Germany and started their company out of nothing, and used the Jews as workers for his pots and pans making. Later in the war, the Jews got transported to a concentration camp where Oskar Schindler sees in first hand the torture the Jews are experiencing. Oskar makes a decision to spend his entire income to save the Jews. Because of his selfless heart, Oskar Schindler was able to help about 1,100 Jews. So that's the short end of the stick. But the film has more going for it than just a man who helped a lot of people. Because of that, a lot of things can be studied in this film, and I would love discussing them all. But I will be only talking about one thing in this film that stood out to me the most and that was the scene where the liquidation happens. But more importantly, the red-coated girl who goes through the ghetto in that part. The reason why it stood out to me, and probably many others, is because it seems so random. Why does this girl get attention? Why not someone who we have a little more connection to, like Danka and her family? And the reason why has to do with Oscar Schindler's caring soul, call to adventure and loss of innocence in this film. To explain this, we need to understand the themes of the film. For a blind eye, this film may seem like it's about Oscar caring about the Jews, but the film is more about Oscar caring for individuals. One example we can see this in is the dialogue between Amma and Oscar. Oscar is tried to buy the Jews from Amman. Amman thinks of course there's something fishy going on, but Oscar knows that if he offers more money for Amman, he can get the Jews. So Oscar asks, what's a person worth to you? And Amman replies, no, what's one worth for you? Immediately after we get to see Oscar writing down the list that is going to save the 1100 Jews and he does that by mentioning every person he can by name. The point of this conversation is not just for furthering the plot, but more about us understanding that every single person to Oscar means so much to him. Another example is the last scene with Oscar, because what breaks Oscar in this scene is the fact if he has sacrificed more, he could have saved one more Jew. Just one. Early in the film, before Oscar learns the porn of humility and sacrifice, he's still mad that just one of his workers were executed by an SS officer. The movie's most popular sentence is, whoever saves one life, saves the world entire. So it's clear that this movie is not just about one man who took care of the Jews, but a man who cared for every person. A man who will sacrifice everything to save just one more man. And the red girl is the first example we get where Oscar learns the importance of these people and why he has to do something about it. Let's try to analyze the scene. While everyone is seen a people who has been tormented, Oscar sees one person who stands out. A person who is just as lost with reality as Shinna is right now. A person who bears all these people's plot and more importantly, she represents the way Shinna looks at her and people in general. He cares for them and he feels pity for them. They're not someone he overlooks, but someone he could grab their hands with and save them. The song they use here is also amazing, to really hammer down the connection between Shinna and the Red Coated Girl. The song is called Oifin Piripin Shi. The song is about a rabbi teaching small children the Hebrew alphabet. But the song is more about when they grow older, they will understand the suffering the Jews had experienced. The song is about the innocence of these children, who don't understand the importance of these texts because it was more important to understand the tears these had carried on them. And Oscar is now experiencing the importance of these people because of the innocence he had when not understanding the pain that followed these people with his actions. This in a narrative arc is what we also call the hero's journey into the unknown. If you don't know what the hero's journey is, it's basically the thing that every film has, and I mean every film. The hero's journey is about a man's journey into a hero or a Jedi or a knight. For him to come to that place, he has to go through the unknown world. This can be like Alice from Wonderland, traveling to Wonderland. 
or it could be Teddy Daniels going to Shutter Island. And here we have Oscar Schindler, and his journey to an unknown is the realization of what is truly happening to the Jews. And his journey begins when he sees the young girl. And that is because usually in the journey to the unknown, the characters are scanned, doubtful, or something else. And here it is innocence that makes Oscar scared to travel down the unknown world. But the film has Oscar changing one more time, again because of this young girl. The film begins with Oscar being deaf from reality, from listening to the outcry, and now taking action. And it all has to do with the emulation of the thousands of the Jews. While the Jews are being burned, he again sees the young girl being carried to her emulation. This is the realization for Oscar that he can't hide anymore, because that was the thing that got the red coated girl. Remember that the girl tried to hide from the SS officers, and Oscar sees this and then decides to go, hoping that will succeed for her. But the reaction of Leonison here is impeccable. He knows that this requires a good hearted man to save these people. In the hero's journey, this is called the ordeal for Oscar. Instead of facing a kraken or a giant, he faces his fear of sacrificing the thing that he had created from the first place, like his money, business and his lustfulness. The Red Coated Girl is Oscar Schindler's journey to the unknown. She is Oscar's call to adventure, if you could put it that way. But more importantly, she represents the moral theme of selflessness, the innocence and the individual's worth. And it's the thing that makes Oscar understand it's not about the digits of the Jews that matters, but the value, and more importantly the value of every single person. And the red coated girl represents all this in just two minutes. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that this film is a masterpiece, and it's the best from Steven Spielberg. So I only think I could pay tribute to such an amazing film by analyzing the thing that moved me the most. I learned a lot from making this video, and I hope I could pass some of my new insights to you. I also hope you enjoy my deep down. My name is Julian Slick, and this was the meaning of Shinless List. Thank you.